Hi everybody and welcome back to Crafts with Louisa. Today I have another fun craft ready for us and I also have a secret guest. It is my mom is joining us today and we are going to be doing a special craft. Are you ready mom? I think so. So today our craft is from our two to five firelight story for this weekend. In case you forget, I post our lessons every Sunday to YouTube. You can check that out on our page. It's Redeemer Kids Niagara, and you can keep up with our stories each week. Today we're gonna to be doing a craft that reminds us of our two to five story, and this story is about a man named John the Baptist. John the Baptist. So we in this story are learning about before John the Baptist was born, and an angel came to his dad, his dad's name was Zechariah, and the angel said, you're going to have a son. And Zechariah was surprised because he and his wife were getting very old and they thought they were too old to have kids. And the angel said, God is going to give you a son and you are going to name him John. John, and mom, do you know what John means? Gracious gift of God. Gracious gift of God, God is gracious. So the angel told Zechariah a special name to give his son, gracious gift of God. And this reminds us that God is gracious and God gives us good gifts. So in our story, this takes place right after the Old Testament. And we learned through the Old Testament in our two to five class recently. And we ended up with some prophets. Their names were like Obadiah and Jeremiah. And there were different prophets that we learned about. And then there was a bit of silence where it didn't seem like a lot was going on. And then the New Testament happens and the angel um, gives word to Zechariah that he's gonna have a son named John the Baptist. And this is like the last prophet before Jesus was born and he's preparing the way for Jesus. So we are going to do a craft that will remind us of this story. And this story talks about a special name, John, which means God is gracious. So I thought my mom could tell you because she gave me my name. Why did you choose my name? Well, I always loved the name Louisa. We almost gave it to Hannah when she was born. It came with another girl and I loved it right from the start. And do you know what my name means? Louisa means mighty warrior. And let me tell you, she's a mighty warrior. There you go. And my middle name is Isabel. And why did you choose that name? Um, Isabel is your father's grandmother's name. So we named it after someone in the family. And it means pledged to God. So sometimes when maybe your parents are choosing a name, they choose it because it reminds them of someone in their family or they like the sound of it or it has a special meaning to them and pledged to God was a special meaning. And that's why my parents chose my name. So we are going to be doing a craft with our names today. And this might be something that you can do at home. And I encourage you to ask your parents maybe why they chose your name or what it means or what's special about it. And I hope that'll be a fun activity that you can find out this week. So we are going to be doing a craft with our names. These are the supplies you need. We have these big canvases, but if you just have a piece of paper, that will work too. We also have a bunch of paint. My mom's favorite color purple. is purple. We do not have purple, but you can mix some pink and blue. Okay, it's purple. And then some paint brushes to spread your paint around. And then something that I'm going to use is some tape, and this is going to help us spell out your name. So this is like masking tape or painter's tape so that it doesn't tear your paper. That's what you'd like to use for this. So we are going to go ahead and work on our craft and watch what we're going to do. Check it out. So for our first step, we are going to spell our names out on our canvas with tape so that when we remove it, it'll reveal our name. So my mom's gonna spell out her name, Janet, and then I'm gonna spell out mine. Okay, we have our canvases covered in tape. I wrote my name, Louisa, on mine, and mom wrote Janet on hers. And now we're going to decorate these, so watch what we're gonna do. Check it out. All right, my mom and I have decorated and painted our boards. I know it doesn't look like much yet, but watch what we're gonna do to reveal our names. Check it out. And there you have it, our boards are done. As you can probably tell, I think Louise is a little bit more creative than I am, but I did get my purple in there. 
She did get her purple, my mom loves purple. So I hope this will remind you, you can hang it up in your room maybe and we'll have your name on it. And it reminds us that we all have special names with special meanings. And just like God chose John to be a part of his plan, he chose each of us and he has a plan for each of our lives. And that's a great reminder that God is always with us and he cares for us. So I hope you'll be able to make this craft and hang it in your room. I'd love to see what you're working on. Don't forget you can email me with all of your artworks or with any questions you have. See you next time.